yeah. That's how I feel like, yeah. Because, because they're out now. Tom Kitten, Benjamin Bunny, and uh, Jeremy Fisher, 50 Ps. <clears throat> they're out, they just started coming out in the last week. Now, I, I know some of you will be, uh, will be thinking, well, why ain't I posting them then? Like, uh, like a uh, chap, Mr. Bruce, who's, uh, God, I still get some really bad mail. I still get some hate mail and stuff. The, you know, like this chap who, who saw that they was available on eBay and so sent me a stonking, stonking uh, email, calling me all the name, calling me all sorts of things, really. Um, and, and over the fact that I'm not sending them out already. You know, but what we're talking about here is that they've only come out in the last week, literally, last week. And uh, and some lucky wallop has, has you know, has, has walked into Sheffield or, or walked into Cardiff or walked into wherever they've gone and happened to get a bag. We get £5,000 worth a week. We get 10,000 coins a week. You know, you'd have thought, you'd have hoped, I often hope, I sort of, yeah, please, 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 hope that I'm going to hit the bags before anybody else does. And, uh, and unfortunately, I haven't. Even now, I haven't actually got a bag myself. I haven't. I've just had to buy them. I've just paid double the value of the face value of some other people that are lucky enough to get them first. And I've just got to hope for me that it's not the same scenario as the blooming tale of Peter Rabbit where I went and bought three bags and paid double the face value in order to supply all the customers quickly and then a week later we went to the bank and got a load brand new could have saved myself quite a few hundred pounds nearly a thousand pound and that's the choice that I've got is either <coughs> knowing they're out hold my bottle for a couple more weeks but then that means making you wait another couple of weeks and uh, Am I going to get them myself, or shall I just take the plunge and buy them? So I took the plunge and I bought them. So I've got a load arriving. I've got a couple of thousand coins arriving in the next few days. And I have no reason to doubt that we're going to be picking up some bags of our own over the next week uh, or two. Um, but what I've bought should, should last me uh, until I get some some new bags of our own so at least I can get these going out as quick as possible so no please don't listen to this video and watch this video and then immediately email me and go where am I on the list how fast am I getting them and all that business <clears throat> imagine if just one of you sends me a message and says oh, I've seen your video when am I getting mine you might think, well, it's only, cut it. it's, only a, it's only a minute, it's only two minutes to reply to that, Ian. Go on, just reply to that. You know, it's just me, just me asking. Reply to it. But I get 500 of you, all of a sudden, email in and go, oh, I've seen a video. When am I getting my coin? I've got to reply to 500 people. You know, it, it takes all day. Do you know what? The last three weeks, I've done nothing but do admin, apart from when I had a week off, which was amazing. Now it feels like it was, as someone said to me, but it feels like 10 years ago. It bloody well does. Because um, I just, just gone over in 10 minutes. Anyway, I digress. Look at the clock, make sure you don't go over time. So, here's the thing. Tom Kitten, Benjamin Bunny, and Jeremy Fisher, they are all coming out. Now, they're all in the region of about 9 million. They are not rare in the slightest. Don't let anybody convince you they're rare. They're not rare. They are on par with Mrs. Tiggywinkle. In fact, Mrs. Tiggywinkle is rarer than these three because Mrs. Tiggywinkle was only 8 million. Puddle Duck was 2 million. And that's the rarest one out of the lot so far. Puddle Duck, 2 million. But these ones, they're not rare. So, you know, don't go, don't let anybody convince you otherwise. Don't let anybody put your arm up your back. They're not rare. And we're all going to find them in our change over the coming months. So, then that leads us to, uh, I'm going to put myself in your position now. So, so I'm the customer. 
and your me. The first thing I'm going to think of is, well, hang on a minute, all these coins, they're not rare. And I've paid you two ninety five for a good condition one, and I've paid you three ninety five for an uncirculated one. So, and I've given you my money for what six months, ish. And uh, you've used my money for six months, and um, and these coins ain't rare. And there's going to be other people selling them a bit cheaper than what you've sold them to me for, and they ain't having my money for six months. They, I, I could buy it off them now and save money, so what was the point in giving you money? And uh, so this is where, so back to me now, so I see from a customer's perspective. So I look at that and I think, well, it's absolutely right. I agree, I concur. Um, the whole idea is, the gamble is, that, that, that I'm taking the gamble when I set the price that it's not gonna be a rare coin. And if it is a rare coin, like the Puddle Duck, well then that, that will cost me, and uh, and sometimes that might hurt, but but I I do supply now. Puddle duck at the moment is a very difficult one, and I and I don't send out that many. We probably send out maybe ten or twenty a week. That's it, if we're lucky. But I mean, we've got a phenomenal amount of orders, and some of those orders are for like twenty coins or whatever. So when we hit one of those customers, we've got to now get twenty coins together, so enough for them. But anyway, so the point is. The point is that these three coins are not rare at all. And because of that, it makes me a little bit unhappy, sort of thing, at the price I've charged you. I don't want to give anybody their money back, of course. That would be, uh, that would be a process that would, uh, would, would take me forever and a day. So, what I do, as you may know now, those of you that have been with us a while, you may know, what I tend to do is I tend to give you extra. So when we go through the labels, which we're going to start doing now over the next week, um, and by the way, expect to get your Tom Kitten, Jeremy Fisher or Ben Bunny by the end of June. I say by the end of June because everybody's going to think, well, you've got the coins now, so I'll have them in a couple of days. No, that's not possible. You know, we've got hundreds and hundreds of orders and that's going to take time to wrap and pack and wrap and pack and wrap them. So you've got to allow me a few weeks to, to, to get these in the post and get them to you. So let's say, beg pardon, let's say by the end of June, uh, all the orders will be, will be supplies. That's what I'm thinking right here today anyway. All the orders will be supplied by the end of June. So when we go sorting them out, if, uh, if we've got a label and it says you've bought one, well, you'll get one. Unless it was one of the original customers from the Ben Bunny fiasco who were promised two because of what happened, that's different. Um, but if you've bought a Tom Kitten or a Jeremy Fisher or a, a Ben Bunny from the advance orders on our website, which is what I'm talking about, and you've paid me then 295 or 395 for the coin. If you've bought, I'm going to give you 50% extra free. That's what we're going to do. The same as what we did with the 10-piece. We figured, okay, yeah, we set the price, but maybe the price was a little bit too high for the customer. In a sense. So, so I want to do something about that and bring it down a bit more. So what we're going to do is, if you've bought two Tom Kittens, you'll get three. If you bought one Tom Kitten, you'll get one. If you bought one Tom Kitten, one Jeremy Fisher, one Ben Bunny, well, the piles are all different. So you won't get the coins together anyway, because what we haven't got time to do is search for Joe Bloggs in the Tom Kitten pile and then search all the way through the Jeremy Fisher pile to see whether or not there's a Joe Bloggs that's bought a Jeremy Fisher and then search through the Ben Bunny pile and see if there's a Joe Bloggs that's bought Ben Bunny. So we haven't got the time to do that. Um, so what will happen is, any we'll just do it as standard, basically. So anyone that's bought uh, two or an even number of the coin will automatically get 50% extra free. And for those of you that just bought one coin, uh, there isn't really much I can do about that, um, except, uh, what I might do is I might put another coin in for you. So you might get something else. I might send you a 
parachute or a running or a Ben Britton or a Christopher Ironside or something just to make it a little bit cheaper for you if you bought one coin but if you've bought two Tom Kittens you'll get three if you bought two Ben Bunnies you'll get three if you bought two Jeremy Fishers you'll get three if you bought four then you'll get six if you bought ten then you'll get fifteen if you bought one then you'll just get one plus another coin which if I give you a Christopher Ironside or a parachute or, or a VC cross or something like that you know even if you don't want it you've got 50p back do you see what I mean so you've got it a bit cheaper than even though you paid me the money and you were happy with the price you've paid me you've still got it a bit cheaper in some kind of way so oops just checking so, uh, so there we are. So that's what we're doing with uh, with these. So you get fifty percent extra free now. Um, anybody that buys at the uh, what I might do now is is uh, the the prices have changed a bit because they're going to be so um, because they're going to be so uh, overabundant. Uh, I've changed the prices slightly and brought the prices down. So you can still go on and you can uh, buy and buy more at the new price and so on. So you can get now a, a good condition one for 195 and uncirculated for 295. So I've I've dropped it a bit. Um, but uh, you are going to get extra. We look after every single one of you, and for all those people that have stood by us and taken this plunge giving us the money and you've you know you've blimey it's been like more than six months for some of you for these coins we had no idea when they was going to be released uh, most of that is down to the, the treasury um, because of what them not allowing the coins to go out um, so there we are so I hope you're happy with that we have had some news on um, from uh, the Royal Mint I'll, I'll go into that at another time but uh, Needless to say, uh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. And uh, and I think that there is some serious skullduggery going on between uh, the Mint and between uh, Change Checker and Westminster Collection and 288 Group. Um, and the reason I think this is because Change Checker tell you on their advertising and their websites, essentially, that they, they intimate that the Royal Mint packages the coins for them and the Royal Mint says they do not package the coins for them. So um, you've got two people that are in business together and they're both saying different things and I just think that's all wrong. And, um, and the reason I think that's all wrong is because of the way that it's all done and people like us are cut out of the equation. We're not allowed to buy from the Royal Mint. And, uh, and like I say, I'm gonna make a mention of this another time, but you know, we have to buy from a company in the Netherlands and we order from that company, that company orders from the Royal Mint, the Royal Mint send it to the Netherlands and then the Netherlands sends it to us. Because we're not allowed to compete with the likes of 288.com or 288 Group, Westminster and Change Checker. And, uh, and if, if the Mint doesn't, doesn't supply the packaging for Change Checker or 288 Group, then how do they get packaged? Because that would mean that they are buying the coins off of the Mint non-packaged so they'd be buying bunts coins loose but the mint says they don't sell bunts coins loose so the only other possible explanation is that they buy it from the royal mint in royal mint packaging rip open all the packaging and repackage every single coin without touching it with their human hands and i don't believe that so there's a lot of skullduggery going on with the uh, with the beatrix potters and uh, and other coins and uh, what's this space because because i'm going to be telling you what i think on some of that i think it's wrong um, and, and it's naughty but there we go anyway so there you have it um, thanks very very much for sticking with us and for the uh, doubting Thomases well you know this shows you that, that Ian's word is his bond you stick with me I'll take you to the top as a friend used to say to me um, nothing ooky nothing iffy it just took longer than any of us wanted and, uh, and I cannot Thank you enough for sticking with us. Brilliant. Thanks very much. And uh, uh, more videos coming soon.